What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Pyro. My honest review so far of Cyberpunk. It is overhyped. It's a good game. Overhyped. My expectations were through the roof. I thought this was going to be the greatest game of all time. Sad to say that is not the case. Do I enjoy the game? Yes, yes, I really do enjoy the game. It is a very fantastic game. I like the mechanics. I like the stealth. I like the the combat is okay. Could use a little bit of tweaking. But is it the best game of all time? No, no. All the game critics that praise. Oh my God! You made it sound like this was the greatest game I've ever played in my life. I thought I was gonna play this game and never want to stop. Now. The biggest issue with this game for me is the fact that it's first person only. That's just number one, okay? I wasn't going into this game thinking I was going to be playing Call of Duty. I was going into this game thinking it was going to be the next GTA. And yes, that's my fault. That is my fault. I thought it was going to be futuristic GTA amazing. No. Yes. That's my problem combat it reminds me of fallout fallout 76 can use can use some work i know the game's going to be updated and i know the bugs are going to be fixed i don't care about the bugs the bugs aren't my issue every game that comes out in 2020 so far has bugs that is not my problem my problem is everybody who even though the game has all these bugs even though the game has all these issues, they still proceed to think that the game is the greatest of all time. And you know what? You know what? That's wrong of me. I'll let I'll let everybody have their opinion because that's what that's what everybody's entitled to. If anybody thinks that this is the greatest game they've ever played, comment down below. I'll be interested to have a conversation with you in the comment section. You know man to man man to woman however however you guys decide also let me know what what what, what faction you picked in the beginning of the game because i picked i picked street kid and there's some i know there's some people out there who picked nomad some people out there who picked corpo me personally i thought corpo was kind of weird i thought it was kind of like i didn't think it was the life that i was gonna pick it didn't feel normal um uh, the weapon style or the weapon gameplay how i'm approaching the game might be completely different from how you're approaching the game because i can tell you i'm approaching the game uh with my cybernetics you know the the guerrilla warfare you know the mantis arms i just want to you know use stuff like that you might be going in there with with power weapons or or ars you know i don't know but let me know let me know in the comment section below how you're playing through your game um the story is fantastic it's very nice it's intuitive i like it i think that's amazing one of the best stories i've played so far one of them gusha Tsushima will always be my number one um but a lot of things that go wrong with this game is because of the community you know the community set the standards that high for this game they thought it was gonna be the greatest game of all time because it went seven years plus in the making they thought it was gonna be no issues this was gonna be the most immersive story you've ever played in your life and I don't fault them for thinking that it's a game made seven years that's been in the making for seven years, I'm sorry. And, you know, I think... I think for a game to be being made seven years, I can see where the community thought this was going to be the best game of all time. But I mean, hey, it's been literally in the works for seven years. Why are we experiencing these issues? The devs 
maybe they wanted to distract everybody from COVID-19 and just have you play a story and just have you live as a part of Night City. But, you know, that's just not my forte. Some people that might be theirs. Not for me. I play too many games. I love way too many games. Too many different games I want to play. Cyberpunk, uh, it keeps my attention span for, for quite a while. And then I get tired of it and I want to play something else, you know. It it has the Assassin's Creed Valhalla effect on me. The beginning of the game, I thought it was amazing. Best Assassin's Creed ever. 30 hours in and I'm disappointed. Now, I haven't gotten to 30 hours in Cyberpunk. I want to say I'm about... I'm about I'm about eight hours into cyberpunk and uh, like I said so far it's great could be better but hey that's my fault for having those expectations but with that being said I would be interested to have a conversation with you guys in my comment section in my comment section about the game and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I post my next video. My Twitch is going to be in the description. Pyro, out. Isn't it lucky my Twitch is free? Since there's no game to 